we all trust ai agents to build our apps but here's what nobody is talking about ai agents fill in gaps in your prompts with their own assumptions and the result you get something completely different from what you wanted and that's the core problem with wipe coding i have found the solution to fix this particular problem and it's called tracer ai tracer is most advanced ai coding assistant that actually works on large code bases so tracer is basically a planning layer for your ai coding think of it as an ai orchestrator that sits before your ai coder so it's basically an extension that you can install inside your ide your integrated development environment so let's suppose if you are using something like vs code like i'm using right now you can install tracer inside vs code you can just like go to your extensions tab and from here you can just like look for tracer t r a y c e r and then you can just install tracer inside your ide you can use tracer with your favorite ide like cursor windsurf rucode klein and even github copilot as well it's not another ai coder it's the brain that tells your ai coder exactly what to do so let's just drive deep and let me just show you that how tracer can actually help you to do wipe coding more effectively so before you start please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well and also please hype this video it will help us to reach more audience so to start using tracer just go to tracer.ai i just click on the link in description and after that you can just like sign up on tracer you can use the seven days free trial you can see in pricing section there are different packages but you can just like maybe choose any of these packages and then start the free trial it will give you the seven days free trial so once you have installed tracer right now you can see i'm using vs code you can install tracer on cursor or on windsurf on tray ai or any of these ai code editors so once you're logged in inside tracer you can see it gives you three options one is phases and there is plan and another is review right now we are inside a nexus project so you can see this is an empty nexus project because tracer can understand your existing code base much better than any other ai coder actually now to start we can just switch to this planned section if i just click on that and now i can just like paste my prompt in here so my prompt is i want to develop an ai image editing app using google nano banana api key through fall.ai so fall.ai is an api key provider so i'm going to use google nano banana api key if i just now click on send so what it will do it will plan this project based on our current code base and based on this query and based on our requirements basically so right now you can see tracer agent has already started thinking and currently it is analyzing dependencies and current app structure next you can see it is researching google nano banana api and fall.ai integration then it is mapping out api integration plan then it is planning api integration and component structure then mapping data flow and integration points then analyzing the image content and context okay so after a few minutes it has just finished planning and you can see there is this observation approach reasoning and this mermaid diagram as well so if you just click on observations you can see tracer found out that this is a next 15 project with react 19 type script tailwind css version 4 the project uses app router structure with a clean state only default starter page so basically in observation section it understands our project and it understands our requirements as well next is approach and inside approach section there is this create a secure user-friendly ai image editing application by number one setting up a server side fall.ai proxy to protect api credentials number two building a ui with drag and drop image upload and prompt based editing controls number three is implementing proper state management for edit history and queue status so basically that's the implementation approach next is reasoning and you can see here it has explored the project structure to understand the current nexus 15 setup with app router examine the existing layout and styling configuration that's fine and next we have got this diagram and here you can see it has just like created this a detailed diagram so this is basically a mermaid diagram and it is a code based diagram so based on our code and based on our approach and our implementation strategy this diagram was created it will help us to visually understand the complete implementation strategy as well and also it can be helpful for your ai code editor as well and then it has created this detailed step-by-step -step guideline that how to implement this functionality now the first step should be create an dot env dot local file to add an environment variable to add your fall dot ai api key the second one is git ignore you need to modify that and make sure that dot env dot local is added inside this dot git ignore file so it should not be like pushed on github or not in a production on, on a server so next one is we need to modify this package.json file to add the required fall.ai dependencies and overall dependencies for this project and then next it has shared this guideline to create new files new components to integrate this functionality completely now we have got the detailed implementation plan in here next thing we can just 
directly execute this in our favorite AI code editor. If I just click on this drop down section from here, if I just click on this button and here you can see we got this option to execute this in cloud code or inside tracer. I mean tracer can also implement this functionality or even we can use GitHub Copilot as well. If you don't see your favorite AI code editor here, let's suppose in my case, I'm a regular user of augment code. So I want to implement this functionality using augment code. So to do that, what I can do, I can simply just click on this configure more button and now I can just like click on this there is this add item button and here you can see there is this augment code listed here because augment code is already installed in VS code and it has automatically detected augment code in here I can simply just click on this add item and now you can see there are different options there is this option to add client kilo code root code cloud code gemini codex augment code so you can select your favorite ai code editor from here i usually use kilo code as well so if you use Klein or kilo code or root code you can select that as well but in this case in this particular case i am going to use augment so i'll simply just press that and then press on ok and now augment has been added in here if you don't want to use any of these AI agents which are mentioned in here and you just want to copy these instructions and use any other third party ai agent so in that case you can simply just click on this copy copy from here and after that you can just like paste that inside your any other favorite AI coding agent so let's suppose this is my favorite AI coding agent I just copied these instructions from here and then I can just like paste my instructions in here so now this includes the detailed instruction the detailed implementation strategy to implement this functionality in here you can see it includes a very detailed prompt this prompt includes every single step to implement that functionality so now my AI coding agent exactly knows what to do what sort of files to modify and what sort of components are required to create so once you have pasted this prompt inside your favorite AI code editor now just press enter and now what it will do it will just like start implementing this functionality based on this exact strategy that we have got from tracer this way our AI code editor will not make any mistakes and it will not hallucinate because now it knows exactly what to do and what sort of functionalities it has to implement so right now you can see based on these instructions which are mentioned inside this prompt it has first created this dot env dot local file you can see it here and next it read this dot git ignore file then package dot json file then next dot config dot ts file and then it modified this package dot json file to add that file dot ai package inside here to install that for a file dot ai dependency in here based on our guideline it is now creating the new files and new react components as well you can see here we listed different components and different files in here which our AI code editor has to create the first one is this file.ai proxy route the second one then there is this huge list of files that it needs to create and then update it based on our prompt so right now you can see our AI code editor has just finished this task first it created this dot env dot local file then it created these nine other new files you can see it has listed it properly and then it modified these files in here now to run this application first we need to install dependencies by just running this command and also we need to provide our file.ai api key in here which is in dot env dot local file and then we can just run our project by simply just running this command which is npm run dev so let's just implement the first step which is npm install which is to like install all of the dependencies we can ask our ai code editor to like just complete all of these steps itself as well because we need to just like run this command npm install inside your terminal if you are feeling lazy just like me so you can just like ask your ai code editor or just like run this npm install command inside your terminal and then it will just install all of the dependencies sometimes there can be different conflicts between different dependency versions so to avoid wasting any of your time you can just like ask your ai code editor but right now you can see it has just installed all of the dependencies next we need to provide our file.ai api key so right now you can see i am on file.ai i'll simply just create an api key in here and then copy that api key and then paste that inside my uh, code base in here so you can see i have just created this api key in here i'll simply just copy it from here now i'll paste that inside my dot env dot local file and then i'll simply just save my dot env dot local file and then i can just run this project by running npm run dev press enter and now our project should run on localhost uh, you can see it is running on localhost 3001 so i can simply just open this localhost url and now let's just see what it does and perfect our ai image editor app is here now i can just upload an image so this is just one of my image that i just uploaded in here and now i can just like give it a prompt to see and make sure that api key is working or not so i can just give it a prompt uh, change the lighting 
you can of course fix the front end uh, design and like make it more attractive but just to test our api key if that implementation worked in first attempt or not so you can see it is processing right now okay perfect here you can see the lighting has been changed this was the original and this is the new lighting that means that shows that our api key is working and our feature has been implemented in our project so using testray actually helps you to understand what exactly you want to implement and it gets a very detailed implementation strategy so with the basic prompt your ai code editor can actually hallucinate and it can waste hours and hours just to implement a basic functionality if you have any questions about testray just let me know in the comment section i see you next video bye bye